Falling in love is one of the best feelings in the world and humans might not be the only creatures who do it. Pair bonding has been seen across other species such as birds and animals. Early stages of romance are linked with diminished levels of the neurotransmitter serotonin and of a serotonin receptor. These two molecules are also depleted in obsessive compulsive disorder since both conditions to different extents also give rise to feelings of anxiety and obsessive thinking. It's tempting to think of early love as a mild temporary form of obsessive behavior. Behavior. Early romance is also characterized by higher levels of several different molecules related to stress response. 12 to 18 months into a relationship, both serotonin and stress molecules are restored to normal levels. Studies have shown that taking addictive drugs such as cocaine have a similar effect on dopamine levels in the brain as love does. Here comes the really interesting part. The frontal cortex, vital to judgment, shuts down when we fall in love. MRI scans show this deactivation occurs only when someone is shown a photo of the person they adore, causing them to suspend all criticism or doubt. Other areas shut down including the amygdala which controls fear and mid-temporal cortex which controls negative emotions. Scientists believe the brain may behave in this way for higher biological purposes, as it makes reproduction more likely. If judgment is suspended, the most unlikely pair can get together and reproduce. Someone in love will still be capable of making other major decisions in their lives from striking a business deal to choosing a new mortgage. Studies have shown brain chemical dopamine is at higher levels in those in love. Dopamine is key to our experiences of pleasure and pain, linked to desire, addiction, euphoria and a search may cause such acute feelings of reward that it makes love hard to give up. One result of rising dopamine levels is a reduction in the hormone serotonin which is important in maintaining mood and appetite. This is why love can make you feel anxious and jittery at times. Interestingly, the same symptoms occur in OCT. Other hormones such as adrenaline and oxytocin are an important part of the picture. Adrenaline can cause two people to fall madly in love while oxytocin seems to increase empathy and communication in a relationship. A hormone called vasopressin seems to serve a similar function. All that happens in the body are fluctuations in hormones, stomach butterflies at times and an increase in heart rate. All these are side effects of the brain's response to love. What science tells us about love is what we knew all along, that it's a stressful matter, that it muddles one's judgment and leads one to act rashly at times and as it grows, these disturbances fade and give way to calm and joy. Your Sharing of this video is much appreciated. Give this video a thumbs up and put all your questions and suggestions in the comment section. Make sure you follow us on all other social media and subscribe for more weekly science videos and interesting maths tricks.